Good afternoon, students. Today we will discuss the second chapter of your syllabus is types of hardware. We know that uh, in computer system there are two things. One is called hardware. Second one is called software. <coughs> hardware, the things which we can touch or see. These are the two things. <coughs> so in this chapter we will discuss different types of hardware so we know that uh, when we discuss about computer there are cpu is there memory is there input devices are there output devices so all of these are physical things and uh, when we discuss about uh, your cpu we know that cpu uh, its full form is central processing unit okay this is the main uh, play a main part of your computer system which is responsible for doing all the type of uh, operations so cpu is further divided into three parts first is alu so alu stand for arithmetic and logic unit in this all the arithmetical and logical calculations are done there is another unit that is called control unit and the main purpose of control unit is to control all the activity of your computer system when we give the input to the computer system your control unit receive that information and send it to the alu for processing and after that it receive back the process data from alu after receiving that, it will receive the data in memory unit okay and the memory unit is also called registry clear so these are the three parts of your cpu alu mu alu stand for arithmetic and logic unit cu stand for control unit mu stand for memory unit and uh, cpu is also called another name of cpu is is microprocessor or we can say it's just a processor clear yeah? so it is a small chip that is pasted on the motherboard so this is called a cpu cpu is the brain of your computer system computer brain you, you can say so this is about uh, your cpu and uh, in the case of your cpu we know that uh, there is a ram is there okay uh, sorry memory is there but this mem uh, the memories are of two types computer memories are of two type one is your primary memory primary memory and a secondary memory in primary data is saved for a short period it is also called working memory okay so whenever we are doing work everything is saved in ram so ram here stand for random access memory and there is a another primary memory that is called rom 
Chrome stands for read only memory. So RAM means here random access memory. ROM is stand for read only memory. The main difference between RAM and ROM is that RAM is first uh, is a uh, temporary in nature. It means whatever we are doing in our computer system, everything is saved in RAM. But whenever we close the computer system, everything will be deleted. Because second one is ROM. ROM stand for read only memory. This is a uh, very small chip pasted on the motherboard of your computer system. This chip con contains firmware. Firmware is also called, uh, a, uh, it is a very small program that stores in basic input output system, BIOS. Okay. And the BIOS is helpful in booting booting of your computer system. When we start your computer system, your uh, system is saved in the hard disk. The main purpose of firmware or BIOS is to take the operating system files from the hard disk and save in RAM. After that, your operating system starts work and uh, the work of uh, ROM completed, okay? So ROM stands for read-only memory, RAM stands for random access memory. So both of these are uh, temporary in nature. That's why these are called primary memory. Next is secondary memory. So secondary memory, purpose of secondary memory is Whatever we save in the primary memory is temporary in nature. If we want to store our data for a long period, for, for permanently we want to store the data, we must have to save that in secondary memory. So in computer system, there are different primary memories, uh, secondary memories, there are hard disk, then CD, DVD, okay. So there are different types of secondary memories are there. We will discuss these in detail. In the econometer, we will discuss these in detail. So now, uh, primary memory is also called main memory, okay. Primary memory or main memory or internal memory because this is uh, pasted in your motherboard. It is not attached. Otherwise, secondary uh, memories are attached with the motherboard, but these are pasted. These are uh, with the uh, there is no any cable with the with the help of which these are attached. Okay. So primary memory, main memory, and internal memory, these are the three names of same type of memory. And uh, this is temporary in nature, okay? So next is the ex uh, secondary memory in a case. One minute better. So here is a, a scanty memory. Another name is external memory. And uh, there is another name. memory. So these are the three names given to the same type of memory that is in the secondary memory that is permanent in nature. So remember one thing, 
primary memory is temporary in nature, okay, for a short period, but secondary memory that is a permanent in nature, this is for long period. Now, next is memory units, units of memory. So there is a one uh, uh, term used in computer that is called bit. Basically, it is called binary digit. Okay. So uh, we know that uh, uh, there is a bytes are there, GB is there. So many things are there. But before discussion of that, we will discuss there are two type of uh, system. One is called a sky. Yes, with a Daria, what is the full form of sky? Yes, unmute yourself. Sir, uh, American standard code for information. Yes. A major standard code for information. <clears throat> okay. Here, eight bits are equal to to one byte. Okay, so this is a American standard code for information interchange. So it means one. Byte is stored for uh, uh, your uh, symbol. It means two power seven near about two fifty six character. It can recognize, but uh, due to the uh, development of internet, now different languages are there. So it it was very difficult to recognize the different characters of different languages. That's why new system that is called Unicode. Okay, introduce. What is the full form of Unicode? Give me a full form of Unicode. Universal code. Yes, it is called universal code. So, in the case of your Unicode, your uh, one byte is equal to sixteen bits. Okay. So it will uh, cover near about 32,000 combinations of different codes are available there. So we can recognize near about 32,000 characters, uh, different characters. So present time in the, all the modern languages like Java, uh, we use Unicode and all the old languages like C++, we are using a style code. So now units of memory. So it is according to the a sky code. So one bit, so it is called binary digit. Then eight bits, it will be one byte. Then one zero two four bytes equal to one kilobyte one thousand twenty four KB KB means kilobytes equal to one megabyte. 1024 MB megabytes equal to 1 gigabyte and 1024 GB gigabytes is equal to 
वन टेराबाइट एंड वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर टी बी इज इक्वल टू वन पैटाबाइट वेन वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर टी बी इज इक्वल टू वन This is just the introduction. Otherwise, there are uh, some more units have been introduced. So now. Next is now in the case of your primary memory or main memory, we know that we have room and another one is RAM. So uh, there are some differences between RAM and ROM. First is RAM. Second one is Room. First is RAM stand for Random Access Memory, and the full form of ROM is Read-Only Memory. Okay. Second one. RAM is here we can doing reading and writing. Okay, both things. But in the case of your ROM, we can only reading. Clear? Then second one is. The size of RAM is large, large size. It means we can store the data in a TB or EB. Okay, but in the case of ROM, size is very small, small size. Clear? Because it contain only BIOS, nothing else. Next is. Your uh, ROM is volatile in nature, and ROM is, RAM is volatile in nature, and ROM is non-volatile. It means uh, its data will be removed, the new data will be added, but uh, your ROM data is fixed. Clear? It will, it will not be changed. Then next is. uh the ram is work for uh, it is a for you for working it is also called working memory so whatever you are doing is with the help of ram but in rom bios is safe means booting process is safe next is the ram contains a changed But room contents remain fixed. Okay, so these are the differences between RAM and room. Do you have any doubt in this? No, sir. Everything is clear. Priyanka. No, sir. Okay, sir. Now RAM and ROM. These are the two things. RAM plus ROM. So there is one. Combined name given IAS. So IAS stand for immediate uh, 
assess memory so this is called immediate assess memory ias combined main given to ram and a room so the next topic is so uh now tell me uh the speed of computer system is dependent uh if there are uh, three factors okay uh in case uh, that control the speed of your computer system one is three factors one is cpu speed so the speed of cpu will decide the speed of your computer system the good processor means good speed like uh, i7 i5 i3 so according to the speed of your cpu the speed of your computer system will be improved if you have a very good quality cpu second one is memory size more ram more speed okay so internal memory if you have a good internal memory the, the speed of your computer system will be improved and next is number of applications you are using for example in your computer system you install very heavy applications like the coral draw photoshop okay in that is uh your speed of your computer system will be slow so these are the three factors here next is now next is storage devices so when we discuss about storage devices it means only the secondary storage devices secondary memory devices so secondary memory devices we categorize on the basis of different technologies number one is magnetic magnetic media second one is optical media third one is your flash media so in a magnetic uh, media the device is coated with the magnetic material and on uh, this is divided into track and sector and in this track and sector we store the data so in this category we include the hard disk we include we include next one is floppy disk there is also magnetic tape is also a part of your magnetic media but in the case of your optical media we include cd dvd blu ray because in this there is a laser light is used for reading and writing the data so there is no no any magnetic material so there is no uh, this is a basically different between optical and magnetic and in the case of flash media there is chip is used okay it is so in we include in this there is a pen drives are there there is a memory card are there okay in these we use chip for storing the data just like a ram okay so now one by one we will discuss these first one is floppy disk
Okay, students, tell me how much data we can store in the clock P. There you Yes, unmute Daria, unmute your subject. Yes, sir. But how much data we can store in a floppy disk? Uh, sir, 1.44 MB. Yes, it is 1.44 MB. So it is, uh, the floppy is not famous at some time because it stores very less data that is 1.44 MP. Uh, it is called floppy due to the its material because it is flexible here. Yeah. So due to its flexibility, it is very delicate. But the plus point is that you can carry it in your pocket and you can carry it, uh, uh, you, uh, you can move it from one place to another place very easily. So. Uh, but there is there is a one uh, uh, so plus points are it is a uh, uh, you can say very flexible uh, 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 you can move it from one side lightweighted material uh, lightweighted uh, very compact size of the floppy this is a plus point second one is we carry it from one side to another side second uh, feature is here but drawbacks are very less data we can store, that is 1.44 MP. Second one, it is uh, due to this flexibility. So damage, damages are there. Okay, it's like it's not, not so low. So these are the different uh, drawbacks of the uh, limitation of a uh, floppy disk. But uh, it was very famous. You can, uh, in uh, Microsoft initially introduced DOS, and that was MS DOS, Microsoft Disk Operating System. It means complete operating system was was saved in the disk. So that was due to the only floppy disk. But uh, now present time floppies are not popular. Now, next is second story device is hard disk. So from name, you can easily find out the, uh, it is of very hard material, metal, okay? And there are different metal plates up there that are uh, pasted, uh, that are sealed inside a box, vacuum uh, box. And there is a these uh, the plates are called platters, okay. And in these platters, these are uh, track and sectors. And there is a read and write header that read the data. Clear? So flat, uh, uh, its life is so long uh, is long life because uh, uh, it is of a very hard material. And uh, in this, we can store the data in. Uh, GB is on, even a TB, okay, so large memory is there, long life is there, but one drawback is there, uh, we can't carry it from one side to another side, if it is uh, inside the CPU, but sometimes, uh, present time we, uh, we, have, uh, we are now uh, using the external hard disk that we can carry from one side to another side. And moreover, present time hard disk is now in place of magnetic media. In the hard disk, we are now using also using flash material media, SSD hard disk. Okay, example is SSD hard disk. Clear? It is just like a uh, just like a pen drive. Okay. So now next is next media is. CD. So CD stands for compact disc. Okay. And uh, it is an optical media. Here we use the laser light to read and write the data. 
the size of uh, your CD is 700 MB. So we can store the data up to 700 MB in the CD. There are different types of CD. CD. There is a CD ROM. It stands for CD read only memory. It means we can read the data, but we can't write the data in that CD. Then CD R. It stands for CD recordable. It means single time we can write the data in this CD. Multiple time, it is not possible. And last one is CD RW. It stands for CD rewritable. It means multiple times we can add the data, we can delete the data. But in the case of CD R, we can write the data, but we can't delete the data. Okay. So these are the different type of CDs. Our next is DVD. DVD stands for Digital Video Disc. It's, it is just like a CD, but its size is large. So uh, we can store the data up to 17 GB. Okay. So 70 GB data, but normally it is available in 4.7. Clear? Now, it, it, uh, uh, here we can store the data in both sides of a DVD. So there are different types of a DVD. DVD, room, DVD, R, DVD, RW. Okay. So here, CD, ROM, DVD ROM is read only memory where we can uh, read the data, but we can't write the data in DVD R. We can write the data in, uh, but we can't delete the data in RW. Rewritable means we can read the data, but we can also delete the data. Now, next is Blu-ray. In Blu-ray, this is same uh, technology is used, uh, used just like CD and DVD, but it, here we can store the data up to 25 GB. And the main difference between CD and DVD is, and Blu ray is that in Blu ray, we use the blue color laser light to read the data. But in the case of CD and DVD, it is of a red color. So this is the main difference between present time. Blu ray is very famous. So today time is over. Saturday we will we will continue this chapter. Thanks for attending the meeting. Take care. Bye bye.